see us get rewarded in certain ways for you know the hard work we put in and we need to continue to do right it's it's two games that we've won in a row now and um, it's a good feeling but it's it's harnessing that feeling and, and trying to make sure we manifest that into more wins and more good habits winning habits this thing will be more than just the power play tonight too yeah i just thought the jam from the whole team right just the you know the power play seems to be our engine right now and that gets us going but you know it's it's everyone contributing in a certain way and you know, uh, we, we get one uh, against us on the power play, and boom, our, our power play gets one right back and kind of gets the, the game evened up and, and us settled in. And, um, you know, that's those are big. Those are big moments. And then, you know, even just right before a period to get a goal, or right before the end of a period, I mean, to get a goal, is it's nice to get the momentum swings in your way. So we're starting to understand that and, and not putting ourselves in positions where it's going the other way against us. And, um, you know, it's nice to see that we're, we're learning. I'm, I'm, I'm still watching and, and uh, not getting ahead of myself, but I, I, I'm obviously encouraged by what I've seen. And, and I'm just, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm thrilled for the fans. It's been a, it's been a hard year. Uh, so to get seven at home here is a nice feeling. What do you think of Mrazek jumping into that? Bro? I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I wish I was out there. Those are those are my those are my favorite things. Sometimes <laughs> every guy for themselves and every guy for each other too. Right? I'm so proud of our guys the way they stood up for each other. And you know, that's a team that's obviously frustrated on the other side. And uh, we handled ourselves really well. And uh, I love seeing Petey in there. He's he's an ultimate team guy, and uh, he loves mixing it up. He, he definitely does it with his mouth. So it was good to see him jump out of his fist. Too. <laughs> when did you see him? When did you notice Gibson was going? Oh, I was us? waiting for him. I, he's, I played against that guy a long time. I, I actually like the way he, he's got some jams, so I was waiting for when he was going to. He kind of came slower than I thought. I thought he'd beeline it down there, but, um, yeah, that, that made for an entertaining night for the fans, for sure. Connor, with a five-point game tonight, if you run out yeah. of to That's it. That's all you got. It's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm proud of him. I, I mean, you know, that's that's what he can do for us. And I, I, what I really liked, and, you know, maybe this won't get written about, but just how – you know, he's under the puck. If you saw the the, you know, the first five on five goal we have, he comes underneath me, I give it to him, and now they're on a two on one, right? He, he's not ahead of the play. He's not trying to, you know, you can see he's understanding now his positioning as a centerman and as a player in this league to, to create offense. And then his natural abilities take over because of that. So um, that's what I'm thrilled about is, is watching him mature as a, a young man and, and player in this league that's going to dominate for years to come, but understanding how he's going to do that, you know, and it's it's figuring that part out, and um, it's pretty scary, because if he starts figuring it out and has nights like this, uh, he's going to put the whole league on notice. I know well, it's worked well with you and him and Philip, but just, what have you seen between him and Kirsch? Yeah, especially? they have a cool bond. I really like the, the way they talk to each other, and they seem to really enjoy each other. I kind of feel like I'm the dad, like, overseeing their, their conversations <laughs> and, um, a little bit, so I try to get in there, but I can't really relate on some aspects, but I think that's on purpose. They kind of they shy away as soon as I come skate by. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm not, you know, you need that. You need like a, you know, a guy that you, you play off of and that understands you and, and that you, you can kind of gravitate towards. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I think that's awesome that they both have that. I think Kirsch has, has really excelled because of that too, right? He's got a guy that, that sees the game at, at a level that he's trying to get to. And, um, you know, it's, it's really pushed him as a player. And uh, they've had uh, great success, obviously, you saw tonight and, and throughout the whole year. So it's encouraging for our team. And, you know, we want that to continue. You're talking about uh, Bedard's kind of heads up plays. What about on his goal when he kept the puck in uh, to keep you guys in the zone? On the, yeah, the Bedard goal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's just, that's, you know, we're hunting and, and I, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, it's it's understanding, you know, when to, at the end of a period, uh, you know, you're, uh, we, a couple times this year we've gotten scored on because we're almost cheating it. Instead of, you know, on the right side of it, he battles, bang, he hits it opens himself up and we support each other really well and I'm able to hit Kirsch and those two do the rest so he, that's what I'm really encouraged about with, with Bedsy he's, he's starting to understand how he can use this defense to create offense and you know the greats do that right it, it, it's a hard league and there's great players so if you can uh, you know find a way to take get an advantage when you ha don't have the puck and put yourself in a great position to, to turn it over or put someone in a position to do it, turn it over for you then now you're walking down Main Street like he was and, uh, and it's a great sign for us. We all silly like the mayor.